Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Jay Luther TV. Back at you guys another I'm gonna take a frozen heart. So I'm just gonna make it. Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Jay Luther TV. And I'm back at you guys with another video. Man, you guys, <laughs> it's been so long since I've sat here and, you know, made a video. It's been about 22 or 23 days of me not making any content, period. And um, I just had a lot of time to think, man. A lot of time to sit here and reflect and just, I don't know, just think. And, man, recently I've just been learning how to embrace my past. Um, a lot of my past, you know, mistakes and experiences have helped me grow, grow as a person. Um, I noticed that I was put in this situation um, last week, a same situation that I was put in about four years ago and I've totally crumbled under that situation that I was dealing with. Now this situation happened again. It happened again, but for some weird reason, I was able to navigate through this same situation that I dealt with before, like quicker in a day, nipped it in the bud. It's done. Um, I'm just learning that you know, my past experiences are, it's, it's just helping me grow as a person. Like it, it's, it's helped me grow since I started embracing it. Um, I think a lot of times you guys, I allowed my past to dictate my future. I, I allowed my past to just continue to make me feel like I'm bound to the my past mistakes, you know? Until I like really just started to sit here and think like, man, my past has no control over my present or my future. It's called a past for a reason. <laughs> so what I did was look at a younger picture of myself and just hug myself. <laughs> I hug myself and embrace my, my past self. And... Man, this is the this is the most clearest I like I felt in a minute. Like when I say clear, like I mean like a clear mindset. Usually my mind was always racing. Uh, always a lot of thoughts on my mind. A lot of thoughts on my mind to where I had to like categorize thoughts in my mind, like shuffle things in my mind. Like, okay, we're gonna stop thinking about this for a second so I can think about that, think about this, so I can think about that. And it just it was driving me crazy. And it caused a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, um, just so much, man, just loss of motivation. I just couldn't see clearly. But this break that I just took from social media, you guys, 23 days of no social media, and I'm still not going to be on social media like that. But man, it, I, I feel so much better. This is the longest I've been off of social media. Um, so I could say it was it was it was well needed, man. <laughs> it was well needed, you guys. Um to anybody who's fighting with their past, man, embrace it. Um at some point you just gotta learn to let go. You gotta learn to let go and whatever happened to your past, let it fuel you to, you know not make the same mistakes or put yourself in the same situation. Um, man, this is, it's very much possible, man. And I'm, um, I'm living proof. I'm living proof. You guys that the past, your past cannot hunt you. Um, if you don't give it power, <laughs> you are stronger than what you think you are. You truly are. And I'm not just telling you this to make you feel better. I'm telling you this because it's real. Coming from somebody with a horrible past. So many things I've done in the past, man, that just, I had to really forgive myself for. 
I had to forgive so many other people for things that they've done to me in my life. So when I tell you, you have power to not let your past dictate your future. Um, I just wanted to get on here and make this video and, you know, encourage some of you guys to, you know, truly understand just how powerful you are, just how strong you are. Even if you don't feel like it, you are. Uh, I love you guys. Um, <laughs> reaction video is coming soon. Coming soon. We back, baby. Let's go. Let's go.